So what's going on guys back here with drug tech back again with yet another tech video for you guys i'm really really excited about this video is because i've been waiting for this product and it is right here the magsafe duo charger for the iphone 12 series so yes of course it's not a cheap accessory and i did buy it with my own money so i'm curious to actually see whether the 589 ringgit price tag on this product is actually worth it because the most expensive wireless charger i currently own is actually the nomad 3-in-1 base station i should say and um, that doesn't really work that well with the iPhone 12 series for some reason because of the magnets behind there. It seems to always detect metal. So yeah, sometimes it doesn't charge my phone. When I wake up in the morning, it's like 20%. So I decided to go ahead and just purchase the Maxif Duo. And also, it's a good thing because I can show it to you guys. So a little heads up is that I'll be starting a new series on cars because if you didn't really know, I'm actually a big car fan. I love doing mods on my cars. And many people have actually come to me and asked me why I do these mods and uh, what are the steps to actually mod a car. So I actually got a car to represent the channel. It's something really, really special. And uh, it marks my almost my third year as a YouTuber. And definitely you'll be seeing that car around and I'll be doing lots of stuff to that particular car. So if you aren't following me on Instagram, it's at drugtech underscore official. And of course, if you haven't subscribed to this channel already or are new to this channel, do hit the subscribe button and enable notifications so you can get notified on the latest videos which I post. Let's get right into the MagSafe Duo Charger for the iPhone 12 series. Alright guys, so let's take a look at the packaging right here. So MagSafe Duo Charger, you can see a glimpse of the MagSafe Duo Charger itself. So on the back, you can see how you can use the charger in what modes as well. So you can either prop up your Apple Watch or you can lay it flat and it's also foldable. So it's very good as a travel charger. Uh, this by the way is Qi compatible. So you are able to charge many other wireless charging compatible devices. All right, so let's open this box right now. Simple as this. Let's get the wrapper out of the way. It's always nice to unbox a brand new product. All right, so sliding out lid it's simple and easy you can see the box lid i should say very nice so it fits the charger perfectly it's not going to get damaged in shipping All right so let's take a closer look at the maxif duo charger you can see right here let me take that out and see what else comes in the box so yes you have some manuals as usual so do we have apple stickers no apple stickers this time so also in the box we get a USB-C the lightning cable no power brake because they expect you to buy the 20 watt power brake right so guys let's take a look at the magsafe duo charger very nice let's try to fold it you can see the magnets work like a charm very nice and portable it's a very nice package it's a very hefty package it's very nice i like the weight all right so on the back what you see on the front on the back okay on the front let's take it on the front we have the apple logo right here nothing on the back all right, so let's peel open, or I should say peel the stickers off. Simple as that. Let's get that on the box. Let's get the one on the Apple Watch charger side. Very nice and satisfying. So I'll be keeping that. So as you saw just now, I just uh, actually propped up the Apple Watch charging stand. So it's very nice and simple. All right, so let's take a look at the wireless charging base itself. This is actually a flexible material right here. Not sure how the wear and tear is going to be like in the next couple of years of course you'll be using this charger for years because apple has just upgraded to the MagSafe standard so definitely this charger is going to be in the market for a while all right so let me get this plugged up and we'll test a couple of cases to see which cases work and which cases don't all right guys so i just got my MagSafe dual charger hooked up to my 18 watt power brick and let's uh see the moment of truth whether it does work with the 18 watt power brick of course, the uh, charging speed wise, I'm not sure how fast or how slow it's going to be. But uh, probably I'll give you guys an update in the comments. Alright, so right here, I have the Speedgen Ultra Hybrid. So let's see whether it works. Alright, so you can see it's charging my iPhone 12 Pro Max here just fine. Of course, the magnetic grip is not so good because it's a third party case. But does it charge the 12 Pro Max with the Apple Watch? Okay, let's take a look. So as you can see, my Apple Watch also started charging. So it's not too bad. I mean, you if you don't want to spend money on the 20 watt charger, 
you can actually use the 18 watt charger if you still have an iPhone 11 Pro series lying around. So it does work. Okay, let's take a look at a couple of other cases. So let me grab my Apple leather case. All right guys, so I have my 12 Pro Max in the official Apple leather case and you know it's definitely gonna work. If it's, if it's working with the Spigen case, it will definitely work with the official accessory. So as you can see right here, straight away, it works flawlessly in fact. And you can see the magnet grip is pretty strong. I'm actually shaking it pretty violently as well. Okay, let me see how easy it is to take off. As easy as that. So you just have to put your thumb here if you are using your left hand and you can easily remove your phone from the charging pad. Okay, let's see if this charges my AirPods Pro as well. So I have an AirPods Pro here. Okay, let me put it on. You can see the light. If it starts charging, you can see it charges with no issues. All right, guys, so let me grab my 11 Pro Max and see whether it charges on the MagSafe Duo. So I have my 11 Pro Max. You can see it charges with no problems right here. You can even see the icon here, the widget. You can see it's charging. So if you do have an older Apple device, you're not going to be left out on this new accessory. So I think if you're looking for a first party accessory, definitely something I can recommend. Of course, it's going to work flawlessly being a first party accessory. You're not going to worry about compatibility issues. You're not going to worry about the magnets interfering with the charge as compared to other third party wireless charging bases. So definitely I do recommend it. So that's all for this video guys. Hope you guys did like it. And also stay tuned for my new episodes coming very, very soon. So I will definitely do a sneak peek on my Instagram page. So do follow me on droidtech underscore official. And I will see you guys in the next video.